Great shout out to Ecofrost Solar Solutions for sponsoring uh, these extreme boating videos for the month of June and July. Thank you guys. Visit them in the description below and find the links and contact details. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Yes, it's Petrus Vivius with your extreme boating video. Yeah, at St. Lucia Extreme Out. What a beautiful sunrise we've got this morning. A flat ocean. Very, very little water here in the estuary mouth, but the boats are launching fine. And uh, luckily there's not much waves in the Rose Bowl. And knock the first in the launch. Turning sideways in the current with his nose against the sand. Shallow in the estuary mouth, guys. Very, very shallow. And he got it straight. Little bit better light conditions than yesterday with the first launch. And Tokyo's on the power. Running very nice light. One way to get over that sandbank today with that big boat and that is with speed. And he's got the line right and he's got the angle right and well done Oki. Beautiful, beautiful launch. Great example for the boats to follow. Just one more. No, it's a minor. Walalaha. Next big boat in the channel. On the power, they need the speed to get over the sandbank. They have to be on plane to run in the shallow water. So they're going to do it on speed today. Big motors roaring. I had to slow down a little bit. I hope he's got enough speed to get over the sandbank. Right through that foamy. Well done. That was a big one standing up in front of him on the other side of Rose Bowl. But he got in front of it. Another big one standing up. Beautiful launch, well done, happy hunting. NSRI jet trip back in action. Can't see who's the skipper today. Got it nice and over the sandbank. Running north. Turn back east. Okay. Well done, guys. World famous Batcat, Dreamcatcher. Had a beautiful launch yesterday. Coming down the channel. On the power. Yes, look at that boat fly. He's got a nice angle, but Rose Bowl is acting up for him. And he's turning around, keeping the speed high so that he stays on plane. back into the channel best place to hide um, if you didn't get your timing right the first time turning around hugging the sandbank on the opposite side getting his line onto the channel right again 
Oops, and he had to stop for that one. Just over the right for me. Over this wave behind it. Right in Roseville, there's nothing stopping him from a perfect launch. Well done, happy hunting, enjoy the day. Wasabi, the next one in the channel. Bradley there in the channel. Be sure that he's gonna get to Rose Bowl. Sorry guys. Making sure he's gonna get to Rose Bowl when the Rose Bowl is flat. At the moment the Rose Bowl is acting up. Probably the tide and the water going out. comfortable spot here all right made some minor adjustments on my position hopefully I've got a better footing here so I can reduce the camera shake when I pivot not in deck nice in deck lighting there And it's opening up for Wasabi. Big one coming from the right, but I think he's going to take this gap. Yes. Beautiful launch. Just a little bit of patience. Look at that nice lighting on the deck over there. Beautiful, beautiful. And he's slowing down. See what the back line is doing in front of him and he's going over nice and softly just the last one well done wasabi happy hunting enjoy the day Brad mclaren with hena law working his way with the sandbank there on the push Getting his mojo right and ready, working to the water middle of the channel, getting onto speed. The rose ball has changed a little bit, leading down on the speed, getting through the rapids here in the middle of the channel. And he's got a shore break right there in the middle of the estuary mouth. And he's got a nice gap, an ugly one standing up in front of him, but he got over it. He's got in front of it, another one to never negotiate. Beautiful launch, Brad. Enjoy the day. Happy hunting. Naughty matter, the next one down the channel.
slowly down the channel small boats have to negotiate this rapids that's forming inside the channel a little bit differently than the bigger boats And he's on the power, Rose Bowl opened up in front of him, he's going for it, small boat on the sandbank, he has to take the one on the nose, big one standing up in front of him on his shoulder, he's going to have to run north, but he runs right into the gap, well done, naughty matter, beautiful launch, happy hunting, enjoy the day. Predator, the next one being launched there. More la frass. Predator coming down the channel. Everybody hiding behind the vehicles and the tractors against this cold, chilling southwesterly wind. It hasn't turned southeasterly yet. Coming over the the land over there but it's cold predator making speed down the channel staying in the middle of the channel going towards the sandbank at the sandbank they can find their line north through the two sandbars this change on a daily basis guys don't don't watch the video and come next week and try and do the same trick here Predator has got the gap there down there through the channel through the bars very well done Perfect launch Happy hunting enjoy the day Mitsufishi Last two launches went down perfectly for them. This is the third launch second day of the competition Mitsu Fishy coming down the channel, hugging the opposite side on speed. And he's turning back into the channel. Yuck, that boat can turn sharp. Must be a help cat. Lining up again. I have to get the line up from that side of the bay into between the two bars very very perfectly here. The rose bowl is closed up in front of him so you can't right, make a dash between the two bars it's hugging the sandbank he's got his angle and he's making a dash for it double hit over there big one standing up on his shoulder but he's got a lot of room to run away from it and he got in front of it well done Mitsufishi happy hunting enjoy the day Boop up coming down the channel. Hugging the opposite side. Small one of the smaller boats, but well rigged, well equipped. And got too beautiful Yamaha, four strokes on the back pushing hard down the channel in 
between the two sandbanks. Big one standing up in front of him in writing Rose Bowl. He fits in between the two of them and he's over that one. Well done, whoop up. Happy hunting, enjoy the day. Sidestep is launching here. I don't know who's the skipper on sidestep, I didn't check. Side step. Looks like if it could be our month. Behind side step wave dancer is gonna follow. And he's making a dash for it. He's got his angle right in between the two sandbars. Has to punch through those foamies. He's committed. Well done, Armand. Happy hunting. Enjoy the day. I hope it's Armand skipping. It looks like it. Wave dancer coming down the channel. Hugging the opposite side where it's nice and deep. It's on the power. Hear the people screaming on the boat from excitement. We're standing east, a little bit south. Got a different set of waves there at Rosebowl. Actually, I had nothing in Rosebowl. So going to give the jet trip some coffee. Sorry, I can't pronounce the name of that little boat. And I missed the push. Because I was seeing what Leon is doing there at the jet trip. He's chatting to them. And he's on the power. This little boat is on the power, not Leon. Oh, right onto the sandbank. Yo! Yo, 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 yo. What happened there? The sandbank is as clear as day. You can see that there's no water. Even through the camera lens, you can see that there's no water. That way, Oki's got stuck yesterday with a knock. Looks like he's into the channel, the opposite side of the sandbank. Yes, he is. Not yet, not yet. Still pretty much on the sandbank. He's on the power. Ugly one standing up in front of him. And he can't really turn around. He has to face it. He's through it. Not how the other boats have been doing it, but it works for him. Happy hunting, enjoy the day. Okay, sick leaf coming down the channel. Also one of the lighter boats. Guys, sorry about the plastic flapping. I put on the raincoat this morning because it was drizzling here and I wanted to close the camera back. Hello. But the skies cleared up nicely. I don't want to put any stress on the 70 HS. It's a beautiful machine to work with. Canon PowerShot 70 SX70 HS. Everybody asks me in the comments what camera am I using. Should be a trade secret because I've gone through them all. People keep on suggesting what I should change to. No, I won't change away from Canon. Oi, oi, oi. He's got a nice ugly one between the sandbars. Look at that big one standing up on his shoulder. 
and he got in front of it. He got nicely through it, uh, running down the channel between the sandbars. Well done, Sickleaf. Happy hunting. Mark and Watermark coming down the channel. Okay, why do I use the bridge camera, the compact zoom? I've got the zoom range that I need here. And um, the Canon uh, uh, video motor drive photo sensor everything works well together you now got to give it a beautiful monopod you guys can see that it's much more stable than with the other monopod it's just I don't have a good angle today there's too many people around I can't stand where I want to I have to take the spot that is available for me so it comes with a little bit of a camera shake when I pivot to mark nicely in the channel and it's opening up beautifully in front of him Mark can negotiate this rapids and get down to speed he can go oh, closed up in front of him with a foamy he has to punch through that foamy not a big one then there's an ugly one behind that and he got over it without speed he did off on his speed and then another big one Ooh, right over the tee top beautiful executed but I, everybody is uh, wet and unhappy with Mark at the moment and it's cold but happy hunting enjoy the day that's why you leave your dry clothes in the hatch Reisman got hard onto the brakes of the tractor there I heard them screaming yeah voicemail put deep into the channel I see Walter is here with three spirit as well and Sperno with advantage charter one the whale watching boat voicemail on the power hugging the opposite sandbank where the water is deep looking for that angle that everybody is talking about and everybody is taking it's a nice small light boat it looks like if he's got two two strokes on this so whenever he punch the power it's like a pocket rocket not the golfy type no Try and go over the sandbank, it's too shallow. Come down to the, the channel between the two sandbars. Just wait down for wait for Rosebowl to, to give you a gap. Rosebowl is very, very closed up at the moment. Three sets deep. Going from left to right. Easy to negotiate. Ooh, beautiful sunrise over my shoulder wow I have to focus on the boats unfortunately I can't do everything I have to train Frankie two socks on the camera but for that I need another monopod thousand two hundred rand a shot it's not something I can afford out of my back pocket and voicemail is on the power he's gonna go for over the sandbank option so he is a little bit more to the north of the sandbank not right on the sandbank he has to punch through a couple of curlies there getting some nice overspray onto the people but a healthy safe launch happy hunting enjoy the day Christy Del Port on let's go
bigger card for my tablet I am way way behind with people's video editing because I keep on running into uh, storage space I went from 64 meg gig to 128 gig and then I ran into storage problems so the next one I can afford is 256 but I need to take the step to 512 need to get to a 512 gig in the tablet so that I can at least edit one month with the videos the problem is nowadays I work with 10 gig a day and Christy is on the power and he's running for Rose Bowl he's got it in between the two channels his angle is perfect Rose Bowl opened up in front of him and what a beautiful launch. Happy hunting, Christy. Enjoy the day. And Kunzi. Ran a little bit, the trim's a little bit hard yesterday, too high. But today he's got his trim sorted. I don't know is this crew sitting down it looks like it was sitting down I don't know I think the opposite side of the sand bank yeah, is crew sitting down getting his angle right to run between the two sandbars it's a tricky one especially with rose bowl this morning but most of the boats get it right because of the second sandbar on the shoulder the rose bowl has been kept back he's now just got foamies to negotiate in front of him he waited them out and he is in rose bowl and there is nothing to negotiate just that one foamy and his V's on the power now he can get that Hellcat into the ocean nice and dry one standing up on the back line but he's got a very well good angle on it well done in Kunzi happy hunting enjoy the day Walter on free spirit that's already in the channel because I was trying to take off my plastic so it doesn't make so much noise the winter now it's halfway over my arms while I'm taking the video Walter staying in the middle of the channel as he comes down towards the sandbank a couple of weeks ago he got it wrong here between the two sandbars and he was forced to run north and he landed on the sand, sand bar and costed him a gearbox concentrate Beatrice it's just the sunrise is so beautiful that I'm missing pedestrians that don't uh, care about the tractor going and Walter has found his angle and he's on the power and it's flat in front of him got his angle right between the two sandbars got his timing right beautiful launch Walter Happy hunting, enjoy the day. Last but not least is the jet ski coming down the channel. View on the jet ski.
fanatic from Muntum Zini. Hello, Have Christy. Yeah, I'm going to do a food change. I'm going to do a donut with fingers and then I'm going to play. And the jet ski is on the power, he finds his angle through the sandbars there. Not that they bore him much, but he needs to get the angle right to get the gap right. Well done, happy hunting, enjoy the day. Fanatic floating down the channel, your hanky behind the steering. First one to dial himself in, I don't know how many times he's taken it out. Muntunzini boat. Going slowly back from the Sunduzi and Falozi channel. And he's on the power. Now I can see what the skipper see from this side, what they have to deal with. Angle, you can see the angle between the two sandbars. And your Heinke has got that very, very right there. Happy hunting, enjoy the day. Day three of whale well watching 2022. Berno getting the people ready for the safety briefing. It's a nice cold day uh, at St. Lucia Estuary. Beautiful sunrise, but it's cold. This southwesterly wind coming over the land is bringing a chill factor that is immense. Ooh. V6 four strike starting beautifully there. Charter one floating nicely, lots less water than the other ski boats had this morning for their launch. I see in the comments people complain that Charter One is overpowered. Guys, bring your boats. Launch here four times a day at St. Lucia Estuary with up to 10 people at a time tell me the boat is overpowered some idiot commenting on the, the channel I can only laugh but now using the speed and the power correctly today he needs to stay on plane to get over the sandbank into the two channels and he's gonna have to turn around looks like by the things of him nope he's gonna approach that for me you got it dead on right into the sun I can't really see what he's doing and that's the lawn okay advantage charter one is on final approach and he's hanging back a little bit just to get the waves in the rhythm so that you can ride them nicely as to stay behind them and 
Berner is on the tower. He's committed. He has to keep on going. And well done, Berner. There's a lot of smiles amongst these whale watchers as well. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe. Press on me and pardet. It's free of charge. It just means YouTube will recognize you as an individual on the channel.